Well, next we head to a Hendersonville restaurant that has its roots in the diner explosion of the 1950s. In fact, do you remember Arnold's Diner in the TV show Happy Days? Well, you won't find the Fonz at the Music City Diner in Hendersonville, but you will find some pretty groovy food. The Music City Diner's daily playlist certainly does sizzle. The sights and sounds inside this Hendersonville restaurant bring to mind that iconic American diner image. And yet Music City Diner, like many diners dotting the American landscape, is also a thriving symbol of the American dream. We love to meet new people, we love the customers, we love to, um, you know, to host people. That's part of the Greek culture, you know. When you go, you know, it's, it's a warm and welcoming and it fits really well, you know, in the South. Jimmy Adamopoulos loves talking about his diner, his menu, and his customers. It's part of the history, the family history, so to speak, and I'm proud to be carrying that on. A family history that originated in Greece, but shifted to North America in 1970. That's when Jimmy's father, Dimitrios, decided to start a new life. It was an adventure. The then 17-year-old Dimitrios moved to Canada, but settled in the U.S. just a few weeks later. He spoke no English, but quickly found work at a Cookville pizza joint, and things just started to click. You know, our background wasn't really in the restaurant business, you know, but, uh, you know, when we got here, we seen this guy was doing good, he, he was successful. So, and I said, hey, why not me? We'll get something good going here. Unlike his dad, Jimmy did grow up in the restaurant business. The family owned two establishments featuring Greek cuisine. So when it was Jimmy's time to start his adventure, he stuck with his roots, sort of. That was the, um, the idea, you know, if I can go to culinary school, I can, you know, be involved in the family business as well, and then maybe bring something a little different, uh, you know, go a different concept or a different, um, different idea. Right here is where the Adamopoulos American Dream and the classic American diner collide. Between 1900 and 1920, there was about 300,000 uh, Greek immigrants that came to the United States. It was the biggest, um, the biggest population that moved during that time. Many of those early 20th century Greek immigrants often found work in restaurants, which coincided with the growing success of American diners. By mid-century, diner owners, exhausted from the 24-7 pace, started retiring. And it was often their Greek employees who stepped up to buy them out. You know, Greeks are, were known for the hospitality, the, uh, that sort of thing. So it, it was kind of the right fit for them. Since its opening in 2016, Music City Diner has proven to be a good fit for Jimmy and his family, a true mom and pop operation. My mom's here, she works, uh, we're partners at this, at this restaurant. My brother works uh, with me full time. I've got a younger brother who's in college and when he comes back, uh, he works. This is the oldest. Something Music City Diner customers really appreciate is the fact that the restaurant serves breakfast all day long. Now, in addition to staples such as bacon and eggs, the menu also features items such as baklava pancakes. And yes, it is a family recipe. Let me know if I can get you Thank you. You're welcome. The relatively small diner fills up quickly as the regulars roll in. They're drawn by the food, the coffee, the company and the family. You can tell it's family run and they're all working together. Okay, I'll have it right out. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm a school teacher, so during the school year I don't cook a lot <laughs> and I don't want to go through fast food all the time, so I would say, I mean, probably at least once a week, once or twice a week. Garden omelet, Swiss, no peppers. This bustling business is the Adamopoulos family's most successful venture since Jimmy's dad struck out on his own so many years ago. We're passionate about it, you know, it's something we do. Uh, it's part of the heritage, it's a lifestyle. So, you know, it's what we love to do. Perhaps Music City Diner is a hit because it stays true to that iconic American diner format. Good food, good value, a sense of community, 
with the side of Greek culture.